up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to Backseat Gamer, the first ever production for Backseat Gamer. This is going to be real interesting. This is our, our brand new concept. Mm -hmm. Here's we how it works. We talk games. We complain about gamers. We complain about game development. But we never play games, yes. which is a huge hole in our uh, repertoire of shores. So here's how we're going to do this. Once a week, for starters, we're going to be playing games on Fridays. And it's called Backseat Gamer, obviously. If you're familiar with that type of situation, you'll have a driver and you have a backseat coach, similar to driving Miss Daisy. Today, it'll be Brandon's responsibility to play a brand new game, brand new game genre, uh, Auto Battlers. This is not Team Fight Tactics. This is not Auto Chess. Today, mm -hmm. we're playing, what is it, Dota Underlords? Dota Underlords. Okay. It's a game that just came out fresh at the beginning of the week. We actually dedicated one of our show. Yeah episode to that game's recap check that out uh and we always pick the least experience in the genre to, to play. play and the more experience to coach exactly so i have hearthstone experience i have tons of moba experience brandon has very little experience i play either. shooting games yeah <laughs> so i'm i'm i guess best bet to be the backseat i didn't even know auto chess was a thing yeah i don't even what does what does that mean so explain that idea to me so what is auto chess i actually i'm new to playing it myself okay. but the it's best really case scenario for me is you're going to control a hero or a character who has specific abilities mm -hmm. uh there's a lot of randomness in yeah. what's going to happen and it sounds like depending on the one that you play i think the one that we're playing in between each round of you and your teammates trying to fight against other people and their teammates mm -hmm. you're going to add a couple of extra units to kind of buff up your strategy a little bit so mm -hmm. like if you're a, a character that can absorb a lot of damage yeah. you might want to create something that allows you to have more health or to find synergies that allow your character to be This is when I lose interest. At the thing that you can this, do. this is why I don't play so these it's games. All right. And it's I'll, not the way you're explaining it. It's because it's just so much info sure. well, and education that you have to go into it. Because don't worry. I'm, I'll do all the things. All right. You do I'll, all the things. I'll tell you, I'll tell you I'll what do your all best bet is. All right. So and let me this try to uh, bring this over. And uh, I'll, I'm going to turn down the audio so that we can still talk and complain about this. So you guys should be right. seeing what we're seeing. And then just well, do on, a little screen Actually, overlay. Yeah, let me let me do this. I want people to see my facial reactions. Well, there we go. See? We're in the corner. All right. We're going to play this. And I'm going to start this shit. All right, here we go. I'm assuming there's going to be a tutorial stage, so... I'm going to turn the volume down a little. To make sure that we're good. Cool. All right, I want you guys to see my settings. I can max it because I have an awesome computer. All right, and he's got no cheatware installed. Golden Boy, upstart level one. Hell yeah! Uh, You're definitely gonna. Play. I like the art, man. I've always loved the Dota art, uh, I, even League. more than League of Legends. Uh, even though I don't play me. any of it, right? Like when I see Dota in League, without knowing. You Sometimes like, I don't know. I okay. recognize one or two characters from okay. League of Legends, like the girl with the big ass bear monster. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I saw that in person. Yeah. But I, I've always felt like because of the like randomness and the obscurity that they both allow their stories to kind of draw character inspiration from. Yeah. They feel very similar to me. I like to turn the volume down. But Brandon's right. the artist, so he has a more keen eye. No, I love, this is awesome. This is awesome art. I love it already. All I right. wish I can just take this beer can and hit that guy, but it's not <laughs> going to be that type of game. All right, here we go. All right, let's, let's go. I hope the tutorial. This is boring. fresh, dude. So you know what? What, what should, it, uh, dude, should I just go just jump through? jump right into? Multiplayer. I'm gonna jump multiplayer. Even, All right, I'm nah, gonna jump right in. I don't want to waste any time. And usually, this is how I play. People are gonna cool. yell. We don't care. All right. All right. So you have. Wait, 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 wait. Give me a sec. Let me see if I can. Uh, it's too late. Well, make sure that they can you're hear already me screwed. when I complain. You're already losing. All right. Sound device, speaker device. All right. Let me make sure I have. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> this is why they hate me, man. They're gonna hate me. All right. All right. So you're going to put where you want to be on the board, I'm assuming. So, like, just touch one of those squares. Let's see what happens. Grab your face. Drag it. Oh, Lord. All right. Where's the quit button? I'm done with this game. <laughs> is this me? Uh, that is. Warm up let's round. See. Oh, you're going to lose. It's one against two, dude. What do I do? Yeah. Click. Keep attacking the one that's low. Ah. You're going to win that fight. Now attack the other guy. There you go. Okay. Who's this fucking nerd? What happens if you don't attack? Because it's auto, right? Like, Is it auto? I think if you click once, it's going to it focus continues. that target. So he'll keep attacking that target. All right. So the idea is that... Neutral round lost. Oh, perhaps you weren't that person then. Wait. You might have been... The other side? I think you might have been the other side. What? Were you or no? How does that make sense? You okay, always start from the bottom up, okay. right? Okay. So let's, let's try to figure this out. All right. Now it looks like you can buy new units. So just for fun, grab, I don't know, the Shadow Shaman. Let's see what he does. How do I grab this? Let's do this. 
I click just click on him. There you go. Oh, you can get another. Grab the okay, cool. Whatever. So now put them on the board. Yeah. And then put that guy in front of her just for fun. Oh, all right. Uh you can I'll, get more. Try to grab another just in case. See what happens. All right, now put him on the board. Oh, too late. Sparring match. All right, so it's all right, oh, you lost. What, two versus two? So the people in the back are probably more valuable than that guy. Well, he's already dead, so take him out. Move that back right unit up to help your first guy. He's going to die. All right, now just focus the one on the right. You're good. You won. Dude, I'm kicking ass. How did I lose the last time? I don't think you lost the last one, but it said neutral. Oh, stand on that. See what happens. It was bullshit. That's why. I got respawn. Oh, Victory. See? All right, cool. Eat my so you shit. did win the last time. Here is silence, ten percent life. Sorry, guys. Uh, but I, grab, I, I like shit talking. Huh? Click the one in the middle. Middle. I like that one. I like that one. Life steal. Am I having fun? Does it feel like I'm having fun? You tell me. Am I playing against PC or real people? That uh, that that's that kills it for me if I'm playing against witch bots. Doctor. Okay, so let's grab grab a witch doctor. Let's see what they do now. Put one of them on the board. Uh, put him behind the girl on the right. Let's beef up the right side a little more. She's right. valuable. Yeah, she did way more damage than the guy on the left. Uh, you can grab another unit. Put the tanky-looking guy in the middle. In the just middle? Just right in front of him. Up one to the left. To the left. Try that. Let's see how that goes. All right. Here we go. Oh. So am I just watching things happen then? Yes and no. Uh, because you can start to, like, you can focus fire. You can move. Exactly. You can tell pieces to attack different pieces. You always want to focus. It'll help you win. Uh, you're going to lose. They have way more people than me. Yeah. All right, let's see. What could we have done differently? I think we could have used more units, maybe. I think you can use all your units. Oh, okay. So, like, grab them all. 10% uh, armor. I'll okay, do that. That's cool. And then grab. This is how I do it, man. Let's see. This is how I set up my Blitz, NFL Blitz. You got five. They've got three. So, they've got three people coming, I'm assuming, is five to three. Am I playing against people? Grab the Treant Protector. We need some beef. This guy? Yeah. I don't even know what he does, but just grab him. Uh, and Tusk looks like he'll do some good damage. You need some more DPS. All right. Uh, throw on another guy, and let's see what happens if they let you do it. This guy is yeah. slow, so he should be in Put front, him right? Put right there. Yep. I'm sure he can take damage. All right. Sweet. So this is a lot of guessing on what the characters do, right? Before I... So you have one gold what? coin, it looks like. Oh, don't worry. You're, you're probably going to win this easy. Oh, it, it wanted you to have a maximum of three, and you had six. I see. That's a fair fight in my in uh, my You're going to win this. You're going to win this. Of course I'm going to win this. Am I playing against someone? So see if you can move them up or do something. Like, can you move them or influence their attacker or anything? No, it's... Uh, I can't it's do anything with them. all we're doing just placing the pieces and then watching the fight? That's what I'm seeing. There's no interactivity, like, during the fight? You, you're not even, like... Picking who to attack. No, more. there's got to be. My impression right now is I'm plus I'm I'm pressing play on YouTube. Got it. Uh, so let's see. Let's three. Him out. Pull out. Put in the tree guy. Let's see what he does. Put them closer together. Yeah, because you're gonna get. One thing I'm noticing is all the other enemy groups are usually always tightly packed. Yeah. And you don't have a. Oh, you can pick another person maybe because you only have three out of four. Sneak okay. attack. All right. Let's see how it goes. So, okay. yeah, if all their groups are together and yours, like, have to walk up into position, yeah. whoever's in front is going to take a couple of unnecessary hits. Let's see what happens. I still don't know. Rosebud. All right, you're fighting against this opponent. This is a real fight. All right, so... Dude, uh, I'm killing you right now. No, you're going to lose. How am I going to lose? Because they're all attacking, like, one target at a time, you see? And, oh. like, your units were actually hitting each target that was close to them her whoever this person was put all their units together right yeah. so as soon as they got close to one target there was three people attacking one where your team was like each individual person had their own unique target and that's the slowest way to kill oh. <laughs> all right let's uh, drop in that other girl just to see the one with the twin blades put replace this the thing? guy in the back yeah let's do that let's see what happens She's probably going to need to so step So is that the position. stats on the right side that I'm looking at here? How do I know what character does what unless I put them in? And I'll tell you what. If we fail miserably, we can go to tutorial and learn the game. I just always like jumping right in. You can buy more characters if you want. You got 12 coins. I'll get Hellboy. Buy a sniper. That sounds like... Which one's a sniper? Right there. Huh. That's what you need. Safe damage from a distance. And use that same strategy you did with the Mystic. Try putting the sniper like on the edge but not in the front. Right now or later? Uh, the later. next battle. Let's just see what happens. 
This is the first battle against this point? Oh, this is another. Why am I seeing this on top? I don't know. Whatever. Dude, am I winning? No, we're we're getting whooped. Big guy's a cheat, dude. This is, goddamn cheat. This feels like um, Clash Royale without the towers, in my opinion. This feels like feels I want my similar. money back. <laughs> <laughs> this game is not convincing me that to get into strategy right now. All so right, one um, thing I am noticing is I think on the left are all the people who are grouped together. So like you're you've been fighting these people on the left side, and it's kind of ranking who's been doing better or who's worse. So we're in last place with ninety one. Yeah. And I think we're just going to keep fighting people until we lose. So we need to learn better positioning. And we need to find a way. One of these people is a healer. Maybe that guy with the staff. The staff? Uh, just click on him. Uh, no, no. Don't replace the tree yet. Put him next to the tree on the right. Oh, too late. Because I have a feeling he can, he can heal just based on his look. Oh, no. He's ranged. Oh, actually, that's a pretty good little setup. You're going to lose. So this person went you're still negative one tank way, and all range. But you're supposed to be on my team. I'm trying to help you, but I also have to learn the game at the same time. I can at least see the math happening fast enough to determine that we lost. Fine. Okay. So it seems like I got to put like the the dud in the front. I think so. We're going to take keep, all the damage. We're going to keep going until we run out of health. Right now we're at 86 health, so we need to start winning So. Uh, I'm going to make them focus on this dude. That guy's pretty much just going to get sacrificed, though, because by the time those other units move up there to be able to do something, the other person's units will probably have already started the kill. So let's try playing a little more defensive yeah. since we don't know the game very well Bring and like have their units start coming to us and let's you know try to gain some information. That might be a good setup. Uh, try let's, to put one more person. It's not red yet. Just that's anybody. a middle finger. Okay, so let's see what happens here. All right, cool. Okay, so it was four max. Five max. Everyone else, it might be cost. Everybody's going heavy ranged. What the fuck? This is what I'm learning. What bullshit is this? We got to figure out how to target, and we got to figure out. Okay, well, at least I know how this, how the turn stuff works on the side. We're going to keep playing until we get to zero health. Uh, we can spend coins to get more health, it looks like. But that's going to make us run out of units. Uh, I want you to grab Pudge. Put Pudge in the battlefield. In the front. And then put that other guy with the big axe in the front. Oh, we'll do it next time. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's try that. A little more beef in the front. Let's see. Who are we fighting? Oh, it's A still loser. Prepare. So we should take this time to like read units and see what they do. Let's see if anyone's got. It. If you have suggestions in the Twitch comments, please let us know. Yeah, we are. If there's a way to make this game more fun. Yes. I would say we're only sucking because we didn't watch the tutorial whatsoever. We just jumped straight in, which yeah, is actually that's fun. Time to look at the what the hell? Oh my god! What kind of cheat? Oh look at the bullshit. Is there anything you can do to pick a target? Or do they just do what the fuck they want? I don't have anything. Is this the magician? I'm going to magician this. Uh, you have to drop one. Put one back in your in your deck. Yeah. Who's the most useless? Five, so let me start reading the health. 500, 700. What does the, the big hook guy have? His health? This guy? Uh, we have to see it next round. Oh, grab one of those Ogre Magi. They look fun. Oh, oh, your bench is full. So you have to maybe put one back in the store and then grab one from the... Wait. How do I put back? Oh, oh I see. Click on it, and then you can sell it on the left right there. Try that. Loot round. Cool. Kill these guys, and you're going to get stuff. So we'll just win this fight. Damn, they're tough. That's me, right? Oh, yeah, you lost. But you see how you see how this game is working. Whenever multiple units, you know, obviously all aggro to the same one of your individual units, usually that one solo unit dies. 
So the best strategy I can think of for us is we want to try to create scenarios where their units are going to get trapped in some sort of phalanx or some sort of uh, assault where we'll have two or three of our units attacking one of theirs. Mm-hmm. And ranged, ranged is a great way to make that happen because obviously they can shoot from two, three squares away. Fine, I'll take this guy out. Hellboy's not doing shit. The magic. So I want to see who has the most health on your team. Maybe we can, next strategy, we can drop two of those and then everything else ranged. And How let's do you just see the health? See. Uh, you'll be able to see it next round. And when you click on a unit right now, you can't see anything, right? Wait, click on the guys? Yeah, like it doesn't tell you any of their... No. Okay. Real red pony. And then also, let's look at the setups that our opponents are using. We might learn a little bit, you know? I see a lot of Z patterns. And so a lot of cheating. They had two melee, one ranged. And I don't know what that was in the back, but... Two tree dudes. One. And take out the blades girl and put in that little guy. This guy? Put in the girl with the fire. Where the, yeah, let's try that. Let's see how that goes. Just for fun. Yeah, I can't wait for some fun. <laughs> uh, can you move the two, that one up, and then move the, this one up? The, yep, and move the one behind the tree up. Let's try that. We might be able to trap somebody in the middle. So you can buy new, new stuff. Tree and protector. Can you see the stats? Like that little question mark thing? What does it say? The lowest star druid. Evasion. Oh, there's so much we got to read and know. This is right up my alley, though. I'm going to have a lot of fun in this game when I actually sit so down. So is this looking like a lot of fun to you? It will be if I know. How to win? If I actually know what each person does and like where the synergies are. Right now, I'm just trying to guess based on what I see. That tree, is, they don't survive for shit. They also don't hit very hard. I think they're they're going to be great if you can combine them with somebody who can rejuvenate them. We got owned. Didn't even kill one of theirs. Feels over. <laughs> Feels permanent. Did we win against anybody yet? Yeah, the tutorials. Uh, can you drop in that two-star guy? Two-star guy. You which see one? him right there. You see the little stars? I'm assuming that's he's higher value, so let's just throw him in and see what happens. Put him in the middle. Yep, there we go. Put the fire person. Uh, I think you need to drop one. Do that? Somebody needs to be removed, it sounds like, because your, your battlefield is red. Uh, how do I sell? You just pull him out. Oh, no, you can put another. Never mind. Just drop anybody. We've been losing all day, so it doesn't matter. Oh no, a Chinese guy. I can't beat them. Oh, so that enemy just goes straight to the back line. He just teleported right through your front line. Well, do I have that guy? All his ability. So you're everyone on their team though, that guy has four two star people. So we need to keep that in mind when recruiting. Maybe we need to get rid of some of these one stars and pick up some two star guys. Where's the two stars? How can you tell the two stars? Uh, you see underneath their portrait. So you only have one two-star enemy, the guy in front with the fish hook. Oh, okay. That guy's two stars. Oh, 1,300 health. Yeah, that's great. He's your highest health, 877, right, 550. She's not going to last very long. 657, 7. Yeah, so we, we've got some weaklings. Let's not use those tree guys anymore. Try him. Just see what happens. Throw him in there. Let's see how he does. Cool. very interesting everyone on the left is fighting each other uh okay Ooh, look at the chaos knight i'm assuming that guy might be one or two stars up top you can buy units oh these guys uh, you bought it before we even looked at it. he's one star uh just hover over the chaos knight i just want to see what it says he can do he's two more one more right there let's see what the, oh that's only one star all right well fuck it let's see what he does later Well, how come mine guy is not teleporting? They're walking. There's got to be something that we can do. What's that little magic button on the right? You see the little two stars up? 
right What's there? there. What is that, Mage? Oh, that's just telling you what type of thing it is. Oh my god! You see that four that's blinking? Which one? On the right, the little four up, right that right there. What's that? Oh, your abilities. Oh, you be shitting me? So, we need to let's use those. All right, let's go. I'm assuming you drop that on somebody. So like. Find one that's good and just drop it on one of the heroes. Uh, like, grab it and drop it. I'm assuming that's how it's going to work in the game. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. So, that explains a lot. Sweet. Let's see what happens. Does everyone have something? Yeah, everyone has something. This guy's been cheating the whole time. We just haven't known. This is why the tutorial helps. Oh, uh, we used it for the loot round. Well, I'm going to kill these guys. What the fuck? <laughs> They're like jumping hyenas. Well, you're doing way better though. Am I? You're lasting longer. Yeah, I'm dying slower. That's not progress. Ah, oh, they ate me alive. It's all right. Whew. Let's see. I need a gun. <laughs> I got you in, Brandon. I got faith in you, Brandon. When incoming. When do I pick up a gun? <laughs> Okay, so all right, who, who do I use here? Can you re can you reuse those power ups? Elusive targets, removal, uh, hero silence, life steal. I just I think you just, just overwrite it, right? Well, no, put so read what they do though, because like you probably want mask of madness, hero silence, speed attack, ten plus armor. Let's do that. Guy. Yeah, there you go. And then yeah, what's the that one mask? Life steal should go on somebody who's going to get right into the fight. Because that means they're going to keep taking health from that other person. Where? Uh, you don't want life steal on someone in the back. I would save that for someone in the front. That's It's fine to leave it on that guy. I don't even know which one. I'm just dropping okay. it on. Cool. This is all skills, as you guys can tell. What the fuck? Don't worry. Oh, I got silence. Let's just see how it plays out. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> They must have some sort of ability, like that yeah, it's called cheating. In the loot round. <laughs> I'm bleeding out of my ass. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're gonna get knocked off. We got 25 health left. I'm surprised I'm still in this. Uh, okay. All right, we need a better strategy. So let's clear the board How and I, let's just like just all pull right. all those people. In. I right. can't. I only have slots. Okay. Uh, so you can put put that Hell Knight in there. That big ass dude. Let's this just guy? see what he does. Uh, no, the that one. Put him up front. Or like next to your other guy up front. And the then, horses go after infantry always. Put so don't put him in front of that guy though, because then the guy behind him has to move. Yeah, exactly. There you go. That's probably better. There you go. So, yeah. All right. Let's see how. Wow. Let's just see how it goes. You can one put one more? more. Put somebody you think will be fun. There you go. All Here comes is. the win. Here comes the win. Man, this is bullshit. What kind of bullshit is this? They, the other people just may have such a lead from winning the loot rounds and they're buying really good units. What we're experiencing is a momentum depth, or uh, a dearth of momentum. Everyone else might be winning their loot rounds and getting these really cool units and understand the synergies a lot better than we do. And we are Come trying on, to coach. figure things out. I'm trying. Get me to win. I'm two losses this, away from this quitting game is this new genre. To both of us, so it's 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 not. There's no excuse. Uh, all right. Okay, okay. anti mage, puck, shadow shaman, razor. Try razor. I haven't seen what that. Which one one's does. razor? This one. Yeah, throw him in there. In place of Lunara <laughs> over there in the corner. That's cool. What the fuck I do? Just play. Well, everyone has a oh, different. Yeah, your first two people are done. Except they're not. Oh, three versus three, three versus one in two different areas of the map. I feel like they have more people than me. Is that possible? Uh, it could have something to do with expense. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe one of their units was a summoner. Dude, I actually won two. You won two rounds. I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try the tutorial? Fine. Ah, 
tutorial is to lose your spot. Oh, hit cancel. I cancel. It's trying to put you in a group. There you go. It's tutorial. All right. Teach me how to play this stupid game. Too much reading. Can't protect you anymore. Blah, blah, blah. Show me. Winning, Winning is simple. simple. Hire, Hire crew, crew, beef them up, and fight your opponents. Last player standing wins. All right. I so. got that. Every round begins in the shop. Hire your first hero. Anyone do for now. All right. I'll put it in. Next. Pause between rounds. Give you the thing. Press the advance button to start the fight. Uh, Where's the advance button? Maybe the bottom left. Yeah, there it uh, is. Warm up. Uh, so 50 damage, and he's ranged. Uh, he just attacks slow. So he does a decent amount of damage if you're watching, right? Like, oh, wow. That guy's pretty strong. How come I didn't get that guy? So now imagine, like, he was taking hits. Imagine if he wasn't taking hits. Like, you had somebody strong that could absorb a lot of damage in front of him. Dude, these guys are just ripping up. Man, this is... I'm looking at these characters. This Tinker guy. They're I just, all I just want to call him Gazlo, the Ogre Magi. I want to call them Cho'Gall. Oh, my goodness. So what are you saying to me for, for someone foreign to what you're saying? This is, these some of these people are very games. familiar. <laughs> very familiar? Oh, man. Like even the design or just the name? Well, this is Dota, right? Yes. So Dota did actually originally spawn from Warcraft 3. Okay. So I, I guess I'll leave the similarities up to that. Try putting the Ogre Magi in front of him. Yes, because that guy can hit from a not being immediately, or what do you call it, right next to the person. I think he can hit from a square away. So You just got an alliance bonus. Unique elements to share a trait in the arena. You can view your alliance status in the tab on the right. What is this? Blood and Realm. Oh, you have two people Blood Realm. What does that mean? Oh, cool. So if one of those guys dies because they both have Bloodbound, mm -hmm. all the other Bloodbound units get 100% attack damage for the rest of the battle. So as soon as the guy in the front dies, that mage is going to hit twice as hard. As soon as the mage dies, the guy in the front is going to hit twice as hard. Mm -hmm. So that's a synergy. I it's, see. Those are the things that we want to look for, are those like links that we can exploit. All right. Uh, hit yeah. the advance button. Yeah. Like two versus three. Oh, you're going to win. That mage is just powerful. Yeah, I'm kicking ass in the tutorial. <laughs> but we're learning, right? You didn't even take advantage of that, that little skill thing because neither one died. All right, so now pick your prize. Allied units one cell away from Warlocks here for 25%. Of all damage caused by abilities and items, twenty percent attack speed, tranquil boots. Um, so, what do you think? Yeah, they said they pause. Okay, so based on your play experience so far, what has been the thing that has attack speed? Attack speed. Yeah. Okay, get attack speed. Gloves of haste. Or is it move speed? So, attack speed. I would put gloves of haste on the mage. And so you're talking about this? Yep. This guy. Yep. And then what's the first one? The boots? Yep. Just go ahead and do that. And then you can add your third unit. Yep. I, that's a good format. I would do that. Let her rip. Oh, this guy's a long range, right? Well, click. Uh, can you hover over him? I want to see what his damage is. His damage is 45. So 36 damage per second. And what about the mage? 29 damage per second. Yeah. Putting the gloves on him is better. Because he already attacks the fastest and hardest. Mm -hmm. And so now you've increased that. So he's going to really mollywop these guys. Uh, you are going to lose. You're so negative, dude. It's not oh, what shit. I want to hear. No. You, From a coach. The Bloodbound helped. The mage started hitting twice as hard. I, I, knew, I, I need a new backseat gamer. <laughs> All right. This guy called it right before we even began. This is bullshit. All right. All right. You don't hear Tyson here in this shit in the corner, dude. Uh, I would grab Gloves of Haste again and put it on your mage. Because uh, here's the great thing. When that Cho'Gall guy dies, the guy in front, when he dies, not only is your mage going to hit 100% harder, mm -hmm. but he's also going to be hitting harder and faster. Okay. So if you can get that guy to die. <laughs> this guy in the front? Yeah. If he actually dies. It's better for you? It, it's going to work out. Well, no. So keep the two in the back together. Like, yeah, one space ahead so he takes a couple extra hits I think is going to be good. 
All right, so I think uh, uh, you're going to win this easy. Watch. Watch when Cho'Gall goes down. Your mage is going to start molly whopping. But they're not all attacking the same target, so that's the part of this game that bothers me. That you can't focus. Ooh, and he used an ability. I didn't know you can wrestle in this game. What the fuck? Yeah, so this is the... We've got to figure out how to... Oh, no, you've been defeated. No shit. Maybe they don't... Maybe they just... It's just aggro-based. Uh, click. You can add the boots to that first guy if you want. You may as well. What's the other ability it says? Can you click on this the one? boots? Yeah. Health regen. Oh, yeah. That's cool. You want that, right? Like, he's going to heal himself. Yeah, I'll take it. Oh, they even called her Luna? Oh, man. This is fucking such a ripoff. There's only so many, like, fictional names you can come up with. Do I add another one? Oh, It'd be like me starting a new podcast, and my co-host name is Landon. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what I just saw. And Barry. I'll get Barry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, let's give it a shot. See what you got. All right, get to it. Yeah, I have to remind myself. Dota was a mod of Warcraft Three, Defenders of the Ancients, and when it became just Dota, what the hell? They didn't really. Those do punches much. are like one-hit kills. Oh, you got really close though. I guess it is bullshit. Well, you're playing against harder opponents. Where are you in the rank? Oh, we're on the bottom. In the bots. All right, we got to figure out. Click on what is, who is that top right, the blue thing? The horse guy. Oh, I don't know his stats. I can't. Oh, let, me, let me pick. I got to buy people. Luna. Wow, she's pretty strong. Or she has high attack speed, at least. If you can... If you can get her to join a fight instead of start the fight, you're going to be good. So, like, I would put her behind and then to the left, just slightly to the left. Take the guy with the two hammers. How much health does he have? 500. What about the other, the mage? 650. You actually might want to put the mage front line because the mage has more health. So just move the mage up one square, but not in front of the other guy. Yeah. Let's try this. Yeah, let's try that. Because, again, if the mage or the ogre die, the other one gets stronger. See, i got to position the guys on the right so they attack at the same guy. Oh, you're going to win this one. Of course I'm going to win this one. This guy calls it when I am a sure thing. I didn't hire you to <laughs> tell me that I'm going to win when I'm winning. I can definitely see it early. Do we have enough now that we can play with people? I'm sick of like. Well, do you feel like false... you had? A, do you feel like you know what to do? Or do you? Feel I feel like, like you know, know what to do, <laughs> <laughs> and that's enough for me. All right, if I, wanna... I I hate being sold that I'm good. The well, night, I want to like, see the. So you happens. have 14 coins. What is? Click the two four XP. What does that do? I just want to know what that does. Are you leveling them up? Click it again. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. What is I it? see. So you're just buying experience there. So like, if you found a team. That you really like oh you can you can get a bigger so that's how other people were probably leveling faster was they kind of they weren't buying more units they started buying more experience so like let's just play one more round i want to see if leveling is what makes them go to two stars because after this next fight what's this uh what is that undo maybe is that oh that's new you're buying new champions you're re re-randomizing the champions you have available so don't spend any more money just add in uh, add in one of those new units so we can see what it does. How about that guy raising the hammer? Let's see what he's 700. Uh, sure. Right. Yep. All right, cool. Play it. If you win, uh, you're, you're going to win. How do you know that? How do you they know only that? have four units out there, and you've got a pretty decent front line. And you have the bloodbound trait. What, did he just jump on his own? Oh, okay. So All it's right, just so a lot now, of watching. and Let's see if you level up after this fight. And then if any of these guys become two stars. That's what I'm interested in. Because that'll, that'll teach me something. All right. 
So let's see. Well, it doesn't give you me. You got one more second. I got to okay. fight again. So do this. Click that. Yeah, let's see what happens. So your level six. What does the level six correspond to? All your units are still one star. Uh, drop another unit on the board and just call it a day. I got to figure out what that means. Can you can you go back to purchasing or is that gone? Is that option gone? Oh yeah, there's the six next to your profile. Let me. Can you click on it so I can see what it says? The six on your profile. Where? Uh, you see where it says Golden Boy right there. Okay. Odds of shop units appearing at your current level. Okay, I see. What do you see? Explain. So your tier six. To the viewers, not to me. <laughs> okay, so it's basically like tier one units are going to be 33% of what shows up. Tier two units are 30%. Tier three. So the higher you level up with experience, the better units are going to show up that you can buy from. And to then increase the chances again, you can re-roll with that little re-roll button that costs two coins. So the faster you level up, the better. Even if you have to pay, that might be an advantage sometimes. Because if we can grab a tier four unit... We can really start steamrolling other people. Mm. And there's a 7% chance a tier 4 unit will roll. So if you don't end up buying any new people, it's always going to be worth spending that two coins just to see what five more heroes will be. Because that's five chances mm. where you get a 7 out of 100 chance of getting you know an additional hero at a high level. So, right. so the higher the tier unit the higher the number, tier, the better. The, the better. So right now we're playing with all tier 1 units. Every single one is tier 1. And we were late game with tier one units. That's why we were just getting destroyed. Okay. And when you play and start a round, everyone starts from tier zero. One. Okay. I'm assuming everyone starts from tier one. That's right. the only fair way we'll to do design one this more. game. And then I'm ready to fight. All right. And reclaim my shame. You should win this as well. It's like you see the benefit of ranged units. Yeah. The guys in the back are untouched and they're doing damage. Your guy in the front has life steal, so he's healing himself a little bit until he dies. Now your mage is hitting stronger because, uh, well, now both of them are dead. Oh, no, the mage is still alive. Oh, no, that's the paladin-looking guy. Yeah. I'm not sweating. All right. All right. I'm done with this. Okay. Let's go to a real fight. Oops. Main menu. See, I don't, I don't count tutorials as the main menu. Okay. Game. Let's see how you do without coaching. Let's see how you do. <laughs> without coaching, that means I'll just be quiet. <laughs> With coaching. I'm not going to play this ever by myself. <laughs> I just want to see victory. That's why I play this game for. All right. Hopefully all these people suck. Round one, everybody has tier one units. All right. So I'm, I'm just, where's the range? Uh, your ranged is Ogre, Magi, and Enchantress. Your melees are Bounty Hunter, Tinker. How do you know they're they're range people? Uh, I can just tell. Oh, just by their. Right. Plus, I've seen the ogres fight, right, and Tinker fight. So I only do one versus one. I wouldn't put her as the starting. Oh, too late. You only got four seconds. You may as well just leave it. You be. Oh, this is like the tutorial. Well, if she's ranged, she might get a couple hits. Nope. No. Nope. Right. Oh, you're gonna win. You won. This is probably a loot round, right? You're fighting the computer. Am I? I think so. There's no way that somebody put two units down when you're only allowed to put one. That had to have been a computer opponent. Neutral wave. Yeah, you're attacked by a neutral wave, so you were going to win that. So, 50% mana gain from receiving damage. Target gets minus three armor. Neutral rounds offer one additional item choice. Uh, I would grab Embarrassment of Riches. I like that. Okay, round two. Who do I get? You get two gold to spend. Uh, I would put somebody beefy in front of the this girl. One? So let me see what Tiny does. Can you click on Tiny? Uh, you already spent. You already spent it. Uh, all right, whatever. I'll pull him back to like one square in front of her to the right or left. Yeah, exactly. So someone can fill that space and then they both will attack. Oh, it's a loot round. Okay, so you should probably do well here too. Uh, you won. So those guys in the back are paper thin. Give me my money. <laughs> we gotta buy. We gotta make some emoticons. Like, <laughs> we, need, we need our. Yeah, we need our. Whenever Brandon gets a win, my cackles. Brandon needs a, a Twitch emoji, and whenever yeah, I get a win, support, I guess. need a Larry emoji. Okay, 
Gloves of Haste, you've done well with those. What is the other one? Allied Inventors Explosion. Just no. tier two. Non night units gain 10% damage reduction for each Allied Knight. No. Okay, so grab Gloves of Haste. And then put them on whoever's in front. Because that person is going to get the most hits in. So. Who should I buy? Uh, oh, we get another person. So you think, Do you so have anybody tier two? No. The na- Yeah, the Nature's Prophet is tier two. He's a healer. Grab him. Put him behind the both of them one square up up on the great yeah so he's one unit away from both of his allies and those two are bound they have a, a shared trait how do you know uh, i just saw it It activated when you placed him down okay. so there's synergy between your back two units how do they get five people it's all right you're gonna win am i yeah you're gonna win the healer didn't heal that's right <laughs> Why there's no voice chat, man? I feel like... Because you know why. You're so you not competitive. <laughs> Fucking bitch. That's what you get. Don't come here with that weak ass shit. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I know <laughs> your kid's right outside the door. You waving your water? Okay. Uh, right. Grab the Claymore. I want to see if we can add some more. Drop the Claymore on Luna. Claymore on Luna. Yep. This one? Yep. This one? Yep. And then what's oh what's that last one on the right? What is that? Embarrassment of riches. Oh yeah yeah okay that's not a a passive. Do I buy anyone or experience? Uh, yeah you can't add any more people so buy the experience. Oh I need to add one more. Uh, add him next to the ogre, to the actually other side, other side one more. Oh no running time. There you go. Yep that's what I would do. All these guys. One of those units is gonna teleport. Gonna shoot from the corner. You won. That's right. I did a 10 minute tutorial on whooping. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Just stop. <laughs> Let's go home. Hey, look, you're in the middle of the pack now. Now that we. I'm a chess master. We're learning something. There's no chatting, there's no voice chat. This game <laughs> sucks. How can you be competitive without talking trash, dude? This is ridiculous. Well, this game is going to take this an hour. This is like hour. a gentleman game, huh? Because this game is going to take an hour because people are only losing like three, four health at a time. All right. All right, where am we go? Experience? Uh, hold on. How many gold do you have to spend? Six. What is the warlock? Do you buy a warlock and put him behind the rock guy? Right there. Yep. Oh, you have another synergy between the warlock and do the magic experience? ogre. So buy another warlock, actually, just and just to bank it, and then click experience. Oh, you can't click experience. That's fine. Just leave that. So we have two warlocks. They have synergy with each other, and they have synergy with the ogre magi. So next round, I want to drop the ogre and the two warlocks, and let's see how that works out. Damn, he's just beast up front. <laughs> Larry's actually earning his keep finally. <laughs> Well, now that I know how the game works. Yeah, look at that. You haven't lost a battle yet, third place. Yeah, five minutes tutorializing. <laughs> and a lot of like... It's the value of tutorials, folks. Shame and regret. Brandon's ready up the to ladder. trash talk. <laughs> Get a couple wins under your belt and he's ready to talk shit. I've been talking shit since uh, before the game, man, at the start menu. Oh, man, look at that Shadow Fiend. Who do I get? Let's buy him. He just looks dope. Looks uh, scary. Oh, okay. Piper down. That's uh, so. I want you to buy the experience, and then do a reroll. I can't okay, afford it. Leave that. Okay. So now swap out. Add the another mage and pull out Luna. Oh shit. Uh, that's all right. We'll do it next round. Even though she's two star, I just want to see if the combination is like lethal. Uh, Go home. I don't know if you're gonna win. Hey man, come on, coach. You might. Come on, coach. No, nah, you, you got it. You got taken out. So here's what I want to try for the next round. That's okay. No big deal. We're going to pull out. Who? We're going to pull out Luna and then put in another one of the, put in that one. Yeah. And then yep. what? Let's try that for me. Oh, oh and now uh, put the ogre in the middle. Yeah. Do I chop? Let's roll like that. Do I have a clean more? Uh, put the claymore on one of the. Put the claymore on the guy in the front. Yep. Since he's going to be the first one to fight, let's roll with that. So I can't I, trash talk to these guys, but I'll trash talk 
through Twitch to yeah. these guys. <laughs> if they ever want you guys ready to die? Who wants to step up? So I just want to see. I want to see if we're gonna get like this, like super combined. I should have read the trait better. I just knew that it had it, but I actually didn't pay attention to what it was. What? Did they give up? Oh man, we we're so good to okay. give up. Uh, what am I doing here? Can you highlight the warlock? Don't buy it. Just thumb oh. over what it uh, says. The trait. Uh, go down to like touch the trait. When a blood unit dies, I'll. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Buy that. Buy that. All right. So, uh, you're good. Just yeah. Do nothing. Not experience. Do nothing. We don't need to buy any other units right now. Uh, next round. Where the hell is your warlock? Didn't we just buy one? Yeah. We're supposed to have three of these things now because you had two and you just bought another one. They took one. This game is bullshit. So if your unit dies, you lose it all together. Do you? Well, I, that's what I want to see. Because if that's the case, then my triple warlock strategy is not... It What's ain't the bee's knees. Oh, I didn't put one extra person down. I see. But yeah, the Warlock is... Oh, okay. So if you buy the Warlock again, you just increase the tier ranking. Do I put it down? Put Luna back in. Oh, next round. Next round. Let's just see how that goes. Let's see how that goes. But next round, put Luna back in. I thought you were buying two Warlocks. You're just buying that one again. Okay, so buy Luna. Buy Ogre Magi. Yeah. No, what the fuck? What? So when you bought the Warlock, it went up to a tier two. When you bought copies of Luna and the Ogre, nothing happened. All right, uh, hit experience by that. Yep. So now let's just play. I can put one more down. I don't understand. He's got a tier two, but you're you're gonna win, I think. Yeah, you got this. Is that my guy? No, That's you right. Got, you got this. That's right. Watch yourself die. It's your turn. So what I want to figure out is why instead of getting two warlocks, we got a level two warlock. But then when we did it again, we didn't get a level two Luna or a level two. Brandon's back on top. Okay, add Luna. Where? Uh, put her. Who has more health between her or that guy that you're adding? I don't know. Where just, we're add, just add it. Put her. Yeah, put her up one. Shit. Put her in there. You can do it now. Up one? Yep. Put it right there. Um, cl oh, maybe if you click the shield. The shield? But you see under... You this see thing? the things that are blinking? Oh, it's. I guess that's them telling you like you're going to have synergy if you buy that. Unit. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Buy experience? Buy experience. And then click the... No, no. Don't click the reorder. It's going to be a waste. This should be fun. Oh, damn. You're molly whopping them. What does that mean? You're really hitting them hard. They're going to lose big time. Good. That's what I thought. I was just testing your knowledge. Go home. God, what a You're waste. You're hitting them from way across the map. Wasting my time. Like, so that unit is going to have to walk over there and still absorb all that damage. Wasting my time, dude. This is amateur hour, bro. <laughs> and I think the... That healer right there is spawning in like a treant on their side of the map late game which is actually really cool as well mm -hmm. i just want to learn how we can get your units upgraded to like a tier two these oh, are tier threes and so buy that warlock oh, no, you already have a warlock tier two it's lichen i don't know uh just re-roll if you don't see anything good tier two then just uh buy experience yep that's fine roll with that same party you've been doing well Oh, nice loot round. Battle Axe hasn't lost a fight yet. It's called Dependable. Dude, I might have found a game that's going to take me off hots. Oh, yeah? It saves my left hand from carpal tunnel syndrome from being so good at it. I still get to think on my feet and come up with strategies. So this just shortcuts the walking to location, but just takes you through the battle of yeah. hots. Yeah, that's yeah. what you're saying? Uh, Hots is a little more like you can instead of controlling targets. five and doing nothing, I'm controlling one and doing everything. But it's a similar setup where it's like a team of heroes versus another team of heroes. All right, Fall from Grace. Units count as Heartless. Uh, okay. Reflects 30% of damage taken back to the attacker. Oh, my God. Get Blade Mail. I don't care. 
anything else, get blade mail. Put it on the guy in the front. This is blade mail. Even though he has the this, attack hands. This guy? Uh, put it on Lunar, actually. Yeah, Who's put that? it on her. She has nothing. There you go. Uh, okay, so nobody in there is tier two. And just keep it. Leave it as is. Experience? Experience. Yep. Experience is going to let us potentially get better units I in the future. I can put one more if I oh, want. Oh, grab the ogre. Put another ogre. Where? Up. And give him the damage reflection because he has more health than Luna does. Which ah, demons? Late. It's oh. all right. He lives longer, so he has more chances to reflect. Plus, he's going to be like actually getting hit. I'm going to win. Luna's going to start getting hit eventually, and she's going to start reflecting damage. I think you're still going to win, though. Go home, guys. God, wasting my time. Here comes a treant in the back. Five, four, Wasting my time three, here, man. Two, I thought this, one, I'm playing boom. against professionals, man. Come on. No, no free treat. Let's go back to the tutorial <laughs> level, dude. Come on. I can't believe they don't have me. I would type the shit out of this right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I want to beat Battle Axe. We're going to have a fight against Battle Axe because we haven't fought them yet. All right. So, oh, look at that. What's an alchemist? What do they do? He's mine. <laughs> That's what he is. That's what he does. He's on my team. Uh, you can't afford it. Okay. So, so I would just for fun buy a juggernaut. In huh? case, buy a, a juggernaut. And then drop in. Can you drop in the alchemist or no? Fuck it. Let's do it next fight. I want to see what he does, but your team is actually pretty set up. So let's just keep letting them win. Damn, this guy's got two tier two units. If you beat him, I'm going to be so happy. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of red on our team. Yeah. Yeah, you, you were going to have a tough time. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. Let's keep that same team set up for the next fight, but take off the damage reflect off of Luna and put it onto the ogre that she's standing next to. Damage yeah, blade reflect. Mail. Which one is that one? Yeah, that one. That one. Grab it and put it on the ogre. This one? Yep. And then, uh, and then leave everything else the same. And let's roll with this. So the ogre gets into the fight right away, so I want to see... Oh, damn. Grab the Dragon Knight. Next round, we're going to change it up. We're going to try the Alchemist and the Dragon Knight. By experience? Knight. Uh, you, you can't. can't. You don't have enough. And pull Luna back one square. Yeah, okay. I just want to make sure she doesn't get targeted right away because she can get hit from range. Or she can hit from range. Oh, Battle Axe lost to somebody. Uh, you got the win. Even with the enemies that showed up in the back, I think you're going to get the win still. Oh, what the fuck? Is that my guy? Oh, my God. What kind of cheat is this? Uh, that's some sort of ability. Like, we got that ability that gives us the extra thing. I'm, I'm fishing for that ability for us. Okay, what am I doing here? Who am I switching? Okay, so I want to try the alchemist. Pull out the ogre the shadow looking guy in the like put him right there yeah pull the shadow guy out and put the alchemist in and then pull out the the top left that guy and replace him with the guy with the shield where uh, on the bottom you see the guy with the shield this guy yep do that okay so now give the claymore to the guy that's holding the shield there this we guy? go yep let's roll with that by experience yes no. Oh, Battle Axe. Here we go. Oh, we beat him already. We're the first people to beat Battle Axe. So I already achieved my goal that I wanted to achieve. Oh, we're going to... Will we beat him again? This is going to be tough. Is Poison Ground? Oh, we're not going to win. How are you at Poison Ground? Damn, we got smoked. Well, we're the only people that beat Battle Axe, and that was my goal. I wanted to beat who was in first place. Completely fine. Completely fine. No, that girl sucks. I want to be number one. <laughs> All right, how do we fix this? Okay, so round 15, losing streak. We got six gold. Can you hover over the Which one? warlord guy? Troll warlord. Where? This my uh, guy? He's the purple. Purple. Just grab him. Grab him. Just buy him. Okay, so now replace Luna with the troll warlord. And then grab the rock guy and replace the ogre. And then give the... Oh, shit. Oh, you're going to win this. It's cool. What I want you to do is the ogre that we're going to replace... Oh, what the fuck? 
It's all right. You, you still got this. Come on, man. They can't beat me with that jump animation. What kind of bullshit is this? Damn. What's that poison ground thing? Dude? Actually, don't replace the ogres. Those guys are doing work. All right, so I got. What some... do we need to win? Let's take. Let's put Luna back in because she has synergy to who? That guy. So replace the guy that we just put in. Oh no, put that guy back in, but replace. Oh, okay. Hold on. All summon units have summoning stone. Oh, grab the summoning stone. That. Yes, because that guy summons right, summoning units. stone. And then is... we're gonna trade. Put that shadow guy in for the guy top left. And then give the shadow guy the sword. Give him the claymore. Okay. Um, summoning stone goes to who? So that, grab the summoning stone. I think that's just a passive. So like when oh. that guy summons the tree, he's going to have extra stuff by more experience. More experience then? Yeah. Okay, buy more experience. Yep. Cool. I'm second to last. I don't like that number. It's all right, man. This is new, but we we beat who I wanted to beat. Damn, those got guys this just, guy right. That walrus punch is bullshit. What is that? One punch kill. And then they summon a bunch of shit. How are they doing that? Everything they have is tier two. That's the one mechanic that we can't figure out, and that's why we're losing right now. Is I can't figure out how to get the units to upgrade. I've been upgrading experience. So when we bought the extra Warlock, right, we saw a Warlock Tier 2, right? So I don't know. I, must, I mean, is it that they just show up as Tier 2 and you have to buy it? Because we've only been seeing, like, buy Luna again. Let me just, just it's only going to cost you two. No, it doesn't combine them. Can you combine them in the, like, can you drop her on top of the other one and just, what does that do? No. God, this is horse shit. I don't know how to combine. It's cool. Um, next round, we're going to get a treant protector. And let's just go all nature. Yeah, we are we don't have a synergy strategy right now. Late game, you should be building towards like some sort of... Like my plan is overwhelm with units, so I'm going to summon. Or my plan is to do that and poison, which is what they've done. So what will help me is to know like what are the... What are the late game things that we can develop or hope for? Mm -hmm. And then we can start planning towards that as we're purchasing early on. Uh, but what's killing me is I don't know how the unit upgrading is working. Did it explain that in the tutorial? Like you see how we have a tier two and everything else is one star? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, so I see a tier two Ogre Magi and it's only for one, so buy it. Buy this that. one? Yep, buy it. Got it. Okay, so now, all right, I get it now. Um... Buy it. Just let me test it. Buy a puck and put it on the board. Yep, put it on the board. And then does the one up there change to an upgrade? No, no. We should. Okay, we'll just put it on. The, put it out there. Too late. We lost. All right. So you have to buy the combine, and in order to. So there's a unit that you can get, but then there's also you can buy the power up of the unit. And when it does that, it combines two units that you already have. Mm -hmm. This is really weird. And it only did that because they were both on the battlefield. Like we have two Lunas in our deck right now. So I'm assuming the next time you buy units, if Luna shows up, I'm hoping it'll allow us to combine. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so we can change, pull out that little dragon sprite that you bought. Same. Pull them out, yeah. Pull him. Oh no, no, no! Pull out the like. Remove him from the battlefield. Oh, the, and put which Luna one is that in. guy? Oh, okay, it's too late. I can still switch. Oh, buy nature's profit. Yep, buy it. Put him on the board. In place of. Uh, that's fine. Put him right there, and then remove that little dragon that you bought. The little guy top right. Pull him off, and put in the guy with the shield, bottom right in your deck. That guy. Put him up front, and then put the. Blade armor on oh, shit. Yeah, we need that in the game. We need that on your tier two guy because he has probably the most life and he's always in the fight right away. He reflects the most damage. I'm 
think I'm losing. So, first thing I want you to do is put the blade mail on that ogre next round. Because mm-hmm. he's the first to fight, and he's going to lose life immediately. So that means he's going to start dealing out damage. Yep. So ogre? put that on the ogre. Uh, put on the ogre. Even though he has that attack speed increase, give the attack speed increase to the warlock. Yeah. There you go. That's what we want. We're good with this experience. Uh, and then grab the guy with the shield and replace the little dragon, the blue dragon in the front line. This guy? Uh, no, this guy. The, that one. And replace it. Yeah. Let's try that. Experience? Yep. Oh, cool. Loot round. So as far as upgrading goes, you have to buy the chance to upgrade is what I'm seeing. And in order to do that, you're going to win. Oh my god, no way. What kind of bullshit is this? So in order to so what I want to do is sell both of the Lunas and sell both of the Okay, hold on. I have Scotty. Yeah. Grab sell that. both the Lunas? Yep, sell it. Sell it. Sell the two dragons. Two dragons, which the one? Bottom these? right, yep, sell it. Sell the other one. Put the eye of Scotty, that thing that you just bought, on some any uh put them on that one, yeah. That's fine. Actually, put on Luna. Put on Luna. Yeah, on the girl right there. Cool. And how many units can you have in the battlefield? Eight. One more. Uh, put that alchemist. Which put one's Put him. Alchemist? Yeah, that guy. Put him in that hole right there. Yep. And then grab the tree. Uh, grab the guy in the back. Oh, too late. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, he's got a lot of tier two units. If we can just figure out. How we influence upgrades, I don't know if you can or if it's just luck, but that's what's kicking our ass right now is we have every other mechanic figured out except for two things. What are the high-level meta strategies we want to build towards and how we can get our units upgraded? Like if there's anything we can do to influence or, or not because everyone else has like multiple, like two, three, four tier two units and we're still rocking with a team full of tier ones. Mm-hmm. And like I'm not seeing any... Any upgrades? Any upgrade potential. Yeah, re-roll. Let's see what happens. Uh, re-roll again. Let's just waste all the money. If we don't see a tier two, re-roll again. Re-roll again. Just grab the Dragon Knight just for whatever because he's purple and drop him in. Which one? This yeah. guy? Yep, just drop him in there. Uh, you're one too many, I'm assuming. Who do I sell? Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I think it's saying that you have one too many. You probably have nine and you're only allowed to have eight or something like that. There you go. Battle axe. Does anyone in the comments know what we can do to influence how we can upgrade our units better and faster? I think I'm done after this, right? Uh, Yeah, you only got three health, so you'll probably get knocked out. Hey, but you're not losing yet. You're still in the game, buddy. Am I? Oh, uh, that poison is getting you. Yeah, okay, you're done. <laughs> lasted around 22. You know what, though? I'm proud of us. At least you didn't die first. 10 rounds, one gold earned, final crew. Yeah, so, like, we should be trying to synergize, right? So, like, that that tree synergy, you can have up to four and have an effect and that xx whatever that stands for we can have up to six so in our draft strategy we should be looking to fill those icons as well but all i want to know is what we need to do to get units to tier two maybe we'll save that for another time for another time sounds correct to me <laughs> well uh, did you have fun i was just listening man yeah, i was just like what do i do the one <laughs> but i i i understand I guess, but I don't see myself going back in there and like uh, wanting to play this game on my own. It's like I can't wait till Larry leaves so I can try. <laughs> that is not my attitude whatsoever with this game. How about you? What, well, your... this actually is the game that I enjoy. I like. I love this kind of stuff. I'm sure Rave will probably like have fun like mm-hmm. dumping into this game. So Rave, if you hear this, definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, I need to actually sit down and do the tutorial myself because I need to know like, all right, top level meta strategies like. Okay, how did that person get poisoned? Was it an item? Was it a power that the abilities or a power that one of our units had? 
we didn't sit down and actually read over all the units very well to yeah. like really start breaking down the like oh this person will get this if that thing dies like yeah. when we discovered that this game is all about recognizing those cross sections of oh mm -hmm. this spawns units if it dies this one gets powerful if that type of spawn unit dies mm -hmm. so the more time i can get this to spawn units the more powerful that one can become if they start you know what i mean like mm -hmm. you look for those chain effect combinations so i'll play it it looks like fun to me I just want to understand it better. I'm more about Mono y Mono. If <laughs> my like gun will kill you. You would like MOBA. Do you think so? Because so, to me, I just set the board and I just watch it go. And to me, it was just so MOBA much. is the nerd version of basketball, in my opinion. Okay. Right? Like you have specific roles. Like you have your center, you have your point guard, and you have okay. small forward, power forward, okay. shooting guard, right? Okay. So in MOBA, you're like, oh, I'm going to be the tank. I'm the center. Or I'm the healer. Or I'm the, like you have roles that you play. Mm -hmm. But you're controlling one character. Okay. And you do all the abilities. I and it's think mono, I like mono, that. One versus four, one versus five. I think you might enjoy, if you had any fun out of this, I think you would, now would be the time for you to try a MOBA. Having this experience now is the best time for you to try a MOBA, right. especially saying you want more control individually. Well, next time is my turn to pick your game. All right. And finally, wake up everyone that's watching. <laughs> People are asking what game this is. It's Dota Underlords. It Dota just, Underlords. Came, out, just uh, came out this week. Uh, has a lot of interested players, of course. And uh, that was my first time playing a game such as uh, Auto Chess. Yeah. Uh, uh, nothing I saw moved me in that direction. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it, this is exactly why I don't play this game. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Maybe because of my, miss, uh, my uh, like low understanding of the genre, I, I, I'm not inclined to really go in there and, and really want to dominate, which is... I would say my second round mm. of playing after the tutorial was a lot more fun. Yeah. But holy crap, man, that's a lot of like knowledge that you have to have up front. Yeah. It's to kind of read the units and be able to understand through silhouette, through character stats to know what exactly what, synergy. What do you mean? Yeah. Oh, synergy. Okay. And so I think the benefit here is I'm imagining there's maybe 30 characters. Yeah. Uh, because we're going to see a lot of those units simultaneously. So you, once you start to know and recognize, you'll see your enemy strategies just based on who's on the board and you'll know yours. Yeah. Um, also, once people start investing in like a two star, yeah. you know you're going to keep seeing those units. Yeah. So I can count on that. So mm -hmm. there's a couple of things that I think we can make us play better. But where we lacked was when it was a fair fight, when everyone had level ones, our strategies were winning. Right? Yeah. We were kicking ass. Yeah, the level two part but was. Once we could, we couldn't figure out how. I was we in could a upgrade, loser we never attitude. Won again. At that we point, beat yeah. the best person who yeah. had never lost. When we, we were, were the stacked only ones that fairly together. When yeah. it was fair. Yeah. But once they started getting yeah, two, three units. Yeah, what was the level two thing? That yeah, was very clear. I got to read. I got to figure that out. But isn't that like a game design flaw for us to not be able to read that right away? Upgrade now. Upgrade now. Like, I will that's say, what I expect. Yeah, for a game that like is as fast paced as it is, where you only have a certain amount of time between the rounds to actually do stuff. Unless the tutorial really breaks that down because we did skip the tutorial. We didn't finish the full thing. So maybe it was in there. Um, yeah. So that's our own <sighs> fault if that's the case. No, that's their fault. The tutorial is <laughs> way too long. What but yeah, fuck? even without the tutorial, like you do want it to be painfully obvious and easy to do the right thing. Yeah. Even if there's tons of right things to do, you don't want somebody to be confused. Like, oh, I can watch basketball for 10 seconds and get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Okay. I get a turn to put it in their basket. They get a turn to put it in our basket. Yeah. You got to dribble. You yeah. can't do this. Yeah, man. So anyway, what the F? Uh, uh, it was fine. The good Maybe news here time. is, um, let's see, this wasn't really my game genre preference, but it was fun watching. So if you can get entertained out of watching us struggle, then I think the concept of the show actually works. Yes, it definitely works. Holy crap, I was bored out of my mind. Oh. But I have to say the second time around, yeah. like I, I mentioned before. Yeah, you were talking shit. I was talking shit. <laughs> but then when it started to be clearly unfair in terms of just, enemy stacked uh tier two versus tier one enemies yeah it was obvious painfully obvious that we we're losing yeah but you know where's the upgrade button for, for, for that shouldn't yeah, that be obvious i i don't i yeah. don't like the delivery system for how they currently let you upgrade heroes it seemed like when i was buying heroes sometime in there there was an option to upgrade like a, a random option yeah. and i were pressing the experience upgrade the whole time that didn't do anything well it did so it if you notice the like the names of the heroes were like gray blue green or purple yeah so that's much like the blizzard uh world of warcraft style of gray is like this is a shitty fodder yeah, guy to you it's obvious to me green. i didn't okay. only saw okay. colors fair yeah. enough yeah fair enough but i knew that right so yeah. like i was like oh cool these are purple guys 
But then when we were buying them, they were like tier one right away. And yeah. so I'm like, oh, not only did we increase the chance of getting these higher guys, because I was seeing two, three purple guys at a time start to show up. But because the upgrade mechanic wasn't known to me, it almost felt like a wasted investment mm -hmm. because we were buying a really high quality trash level player yeah. in the game. Yeah. And so that doesn't help us whatsoever. Yeah. Did not help. Yeah. Thanks, coach. Yeah. All right. Well, that is the show. Thank you for joining us. I'll see Bird you guys next week. To see what Brandon picks for Larry I'm going to pick like an exciting <laughs> game that both of us will enjoy, but definitely uh, according to more my corner of uh, play style. The funny thing is between the two of us, we play and enjoy such opposite games. Very I opposite games. I think this show games. is always going to be fun. This game has way too many numbers yeah. and stats and reading. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? Yeah. And to have a game with no chat, and a way to interact with your opponent? Can't even like thumbs down this emoji. Bro, you this know? Bullshit. Like, okay. It's like, how does he know how I feel? Yeah. You know, there's no way. So All I know you. is, uh, whoever Twitchers. that person was that was in first place and never lost, yeah. you lost to us. Yes. You did lose to us. Yes. He was playing, or she, yeah. knowing how to play the game and was the one controlling it. Yeah. Where we have that degree of separation yeah. where I'm trying to strategize and yeah. try to tell you what to do. Yeah. So there was a degree of difficulty increase for us, and yeah. we still how embarrassing! The first place. How yeah, embarrassing yeah, for yeah, exactly. that person! Exactly. Yes, yeah, so but like, I can't type that. Yeah, ah, yeah. <laughs> I'll never see that person ever again. I, I don't understand that. Fans of the show is so that like a, 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 a thing with these genres? Toxicity. It, it helps fight toxicity. Oh, so you're saying it is uh, an answer? It used to it's be an so chatting. Oh, man. has always been a part of it, but now they just recently so just took it up. So if you were to play League of Legends or Dota, the way oh, that we play it right now, we're like you'll be hearing all that. You don't know anything. What the F are you doing, F yeah. and Scrub? You, yeah, oh, yeah. Stop throwing the game. Stop feeding. Stop. Oh, stop. I, oh man. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> you Bring should it. play a MOBA, man. I'm telling you. They're waiting for you, Brandon. Dude, I can back talk your mom. They're, they're waiting for you. Go play a MOBA just for fun, just to try it out. All right, fine. All right. All right, this time, uh, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, this is happening every Friday at 11 a.m., yep. uh, roughly an hour. If it is actually fun, we'll probably do a little more, but yep. this time, an hour is enough. In my opinion, <laughs> so this, that goes it. And Larry has always liked a send off message. All right. Oh, you know, next time you're free, join us in the back seat. Back seat gamer, we're out of here. All right. See you guys.